Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to uh, manipulate data frames a bit more. We're going to see how to concatenate them and how to merge them. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So um, if we just do a quick LS, we're going to play around with this MMM and JJJ data set first of all. So let's just remind ourselves what they are. JJJ um, is just a, a, a data set with a bunch of people in there where their name starts with, with J. And then MMM is a data set with a bunch of people in there where their names start with M. All the variables are the same. Random number, height and meters, weight and kg. Um, random number, height and meters, weight and kg. All the numbers are the same. All the variables are the same. But they're, uh, but the rows, the observations are different, right? Um, so perhaps this, this data had gone and been collected by someone who only had J's in there and someone collected this data who's only got M's in there. And let's say we actually want to put it together. So we, we don't actually want to diff two different data sets. We just want um, the one. Now that's extremely easy in R. So MMM, JJJ. And then we use R bind. So we're binding the rows. We want the rows to be the same. And simply MMM, JJJ. And now if we run that, that's gone. And if we take a look at MMM, JJJ, we now see that we have 26 variables, uh, observations, pardon me, whereas previously we had two sets of 13. And let's just put all the M's and the J's uh, together. So merging is extremely simple. Now we're going to take a look at something else. So if you remember, um, or if you, if you watched previous videos, we saw how um, we created a little data set called first data set. So nothing too complicated, um, name Bob and Billy, and age 23 and 25. So we're going to play around with that data set. But first of all, we're going to create another data set. So let's create another vector name. Um, but there's going to be different people in this. So Bob's going to be there. However, Billy's not, but Ben is. And, and similarly, um, we're not going to have their age. We're going to have collected their um, weight. OK, so uh, let's go for 95. If I submit that, um, and now if I create a new, um, a new data frame, and let's call it other data set and it's simply data dot frame name and weight and if I run that we now have the first data set and we have the other data set all right so let's say that these were collected again differently um, by by different uh, so so two so one person went out and found out Bob all the person with B's uh, name with B's in their in their name found out their um, their age but on that particular day Ben wasn't there and then on another day someone went and found their weight but on that particular day Billy wasn't there so how do we put that data together so let's uh, let's see how we do that so let's create another data set which is going to be merged data set and this is very easy we simply use the merge command and so we merge um, first data set with other data set, but now we have to be careful because we have to say what variable do we do this by? So what variable stays the same? Um, and so we simply use the by statement and we write the name of um, the variable. So if we run that, if we take a look at merge data set, this is what we get. Now, what's happened? is it's merged the data set, so we now have three columns here of age and weight, but it's only picked up variables, sorry, it's only picked up observations that happen to be in the intersection of both. So Bob is the only person that, that, that for which we can get a full um, observation. And so that's what the default merge does. Now, if we wanted something slightly different, we can do that as well. So let's just uh, copy this here. Um, I'm just going to do it here because I'm going to be doing four different things, uh, three different things. If I just add on the option all.x equals true, that's saying everything from the x um, data set is true, and x is by default the first one. So if I simply run that, that gives us um, Bob and Billy because they were in the first data set, but Billy's weight is missing. And then similarly, if I say all.y equals true, that gives me everything in the second data set. Um, but now Ben's age is missing. And then finally, if I replace that with all equals true, 
we get everyone in all the data sets with the relative missing variables. So by carefully selecting um, the right type of all, you can get exactly what you want. Let me just copy these here to make sure that you can see these on the video. Okay, so you have the base merge, the merge with all.x equals true, the merge with all.y equals true, and the merge with all equals true. If you're familiar with SQL, this might look very similar, uh, very familiar because it's basically inner, left, right, and full outer joints.